guest is out here from the Pacific Northwest. Give it up to Super Trucker, Tim. You got sun, you got beaches, you got all this greenery and shrubbery, these cute little forest animals running around, these spotted deer, hundreds upon thousands of them. And uh, I got a bit of a little jealous. You know, I can see why Oprah is so interested in those guys. <laughs> I'm not quite so lucky, I'm from Salem, Oregon. And we lose the sun in September, and then we get it again in about May. In the meantime, it's dark, it's dreary, and it's wet, like my life. <laughs> <laughs> and over there, guys, I run a big rig. We're talking 120,000 pounds of steel and death. 18 wheels, and we're rocking down the freeway at 65 miles an hour, shaking the pillars of earth and heaven, just to bring you your crap from Amazon. <laughs> That's what we do, guys, but not here. Not here, because you guys don't have any big rigs that size here, so thank you. You also, that means you don't have truck stops, which means you don't have truck stop debauchery. And over there, we have what we call lot lizards. And now, you guys might not know what that means, but I did find that you have a Hawaiian version. They're called Ewoks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now you know what I'm talking about, the easy women of Kihei. And I'm, I'm glad we cleared that up because I thought you guys were into short, hairy women from the Star Wars trilogy. So I'm really glad we cleared that up. And here's my embarrassing story, guys. I, I hit it off with some Samoans. I love Samoan people. I didn't even know I liked Samoan people, but they're great. Right? So uh, I'm, I'm hanging out with these Samoans and uh, and the, one of the, this beautiful Samoan girl named Saul, she goes to the front counter, she orders a soda, and she comes over to me like she's going to hand it to me, and she goes, boom, and nails me right in the crotch with it. And she says, hey, look, everybody, Momimi. And everybody starts busting up laughing, right? Now, I didn't know what Momimi meant, but apparently it means a guy who wet himself. <laughs> and so now you guys might think I would have a problem being called piss pants. But I'm rocking that name because I have an island name now. And I'm going home with an island name. I'm putting it on a t shirt. It's going to say Piss Pants and Moby. <laughs> I'm rocking that shirt. One thing I did find out though, guys, over here in Hawaii, you guys have a lot more etiquette and you're more sophisticated than we are on the mainland. And here's what, I, here's what I mean by that. You ever see those really fancy people who take a drink of tea and they kick out their pinky? Right? Yeah. When you guys do a thumbs up, you kick out the pinky, right? And you even do the shake. How cool is that? It's like a kickstand for a thumbs up. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> you know, I, I always wondered what you guys do at a Hawaiian rock concert, too. Is that like, da 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 kick out the pinky? I don't know. But uh, one thing I am sure of, there will never be a Hawaiian Wheel of Fortune. And the reason I say that is because you buy a couple of vowels, you solve the whole puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> now, me on the other hand, guys, I'm Jewish, yeah. and uh, Jews hate vowels. We have no vowels, right? In fact, we created our own filler sounds. Ha! And sha! Now, I'm going to give you guys an example. Here's a sentence in Hebrew. Adonai Elohim Shalom Shema Tivacherem. I just cleared my throat eight times in one sentence. It's very convenient if you have phlegm issues. <laughs> so, so guys, uh, a lot of people will refer to me as the outdoor Seinfeld. And I love the outdoors, guys. I'm always in the outdoors. And, uh, and, and I don't know, am I doing good on time? Uh, okay, so we went to Lanai recently. Loved Lanai, explored the entire island, beautiful island. Now here guys, on this island, right, on Maui, if I buy a rental car, I can spend $100 to get a great car. But if I spend $200, I can get a luxurious car. Smells great, the whole nine yards, right? Not so on Lanai. <laughs> it's 250 bucks base price for a basic car. And so fortunately, I know people over there made a call and I got a 
he's the, my buddy says, hey, I know a buddy who's got a buddy who's got a buddy who rents his car out from time to time. So we go and we get in this car. It's, it's so rusted, I thought the back end was going to fall off. There was no part of the frame that wasn't dented. The seats were ripped. And I know they don't make cat free air, or cat tea air fresheners, guys, so it must have been cat tea. Oh, yeah. And then I noticed there was a roll of toilet paper in the console, right? And no sanitizer, which tells me about my suspicions as to why the steering wheel was stained. <laughs> now, I didn't want to smell it to confirm it, because just suspicion was enough for me. <laughs> but my overall rating on that truck, best goddamn hunting rig we ever had, guys. It was amazing, it did the job. We get out there and we're exploring the whole island. And what ended up happening was, is, is I, I shot a pig and uh, I, I infuriated a local guy. And he said to me, I just said, man, hey, I just want to fix this. How do we fix this? And he says, you, you shot a pig on my island, you should give me half. And I said, that's it? I've done worse things to people in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's easy. So, guys, we became friends, we became great friends, and, and so here's my end consensus, guys, is on my bag right here, it says, paddle faster, guys, I hear banjos, right? There, there's a reason for that. If you're in the, there's dark woods back home that you go into and you won't come out if you ain't careful. And that's why when you hear banjos, you go the other direction in a hurry. So when I started hearing ukuleles in the woods here, I didn't know if it was bad or good, but I wasn't sticking around to find out. The bad part is, oh, back home, you can jump in a river. And it'll take you anywhere. Here, you got nowhere to go. In the ocean, you jump in the ocean, it just brings you right back. <laughs> so you're pretty much screwed. Anyhow, guys, my consensus is, is that all Hawaiians are, we got so much in common. All you guys are is water, water trap rednecks just like us. We're all the same. Thanks, guys. Super good tip, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, super good. Sorry. It's true. Local friends are very similar. We drive lifted trucks. We wear sleeveless shirts. We go dog and knife hunting. Yep. We sometimes marry our cousins. <laughs> we always think people are on our land. <laughs> We bring coolers to inappropriate events like weddings and funerals. <laughs> what is she who but a Polynesian yeehaw? Think about it. <laughs> We're not so different, you and I, Tim. Right. 